feed it. Uh, this is not. <laughs> this is not. Um, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I really don't. I love snakes. And uh, yeah, finding a perfectly good snake, a nice snake, a friendly snake, a non-venomous snake, and having to kill it, uh, that goes against everything in my being that I want to do. But uh, snakes can't be here. We rented an Airbnb in Florida <laughs> and enjoying the beach for a few days. My mom and my youngest daughter, Lily, are back at the house uh, enjoying the pool. And me and Sarah and Audrey are driving in the rain <laughs> looking for snakes. We're actually going to go to some places where I think will be good for finding snakes, hopefully in the middle of the road, crossing the roads. So we're just going to ride around these roads. And I'm hoping this rain pushes out of here. And if it does, it may be perfect for finding some snakes. So uh, we're down here in South Florida. Are we gonna find Burmese pythons? I don't think so. I would, if we find a Burmese python tonight, I would be, I would be very surprised. I think we might find some snakes. I know we'll definitely probably see some alligators, um, but uh, we'll see. Maybe we won't see any snakes. So, uh, if we don't see any snakes, I guess you'll never see this video. Well, we drove out of the rain and uh, we're down here in South Florida. We just got off the paved road on a dirt road and there's not been any rain here. It's completely dry. Temperatures in the low 80s and it feels good out here. If I was a snake, I would want to crawl around in this weather. So, <laughs> hopefully nobody told the snakes I was coming. So they're not hiding from me too good. But uh, I don't care. I don't care what, what kind of snake I see. Even if it's snakes that I keep and see every day, there's just something about seeing them in the wild that's cool. So anything I see, I'll probably get excited about. You see it? Yeah. All right. We just... We just found a toad crossing the road and just curious if it's a native toad or not. Oh wow. That's pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What is he? <laughs> a little southern toad. Oh, oh god. <laughs> He's pretty though. I don't know. But I really like him. It's pretty. Yeah. I don't know. The water is so it just, clear. This is a catfish that just swam under there or something. I wonder if there's something down in that. Ooh, oh, <laughs> oh, good job, Audrey. <laughs> 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 what was that? <laughs> oh, he's scared. <laughs> <laughs> That noise. That is a big old bullfrog right there. Well, I've seen them bigger than that, but that's still a big bullfrog. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's slimy. That's really cool. <laughs> hey, big boy. There's no it right, could be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's put him back down. He's out of water. Watch mm. it jump again. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't even see it. Uh-uh. I tell you what, Audrey sure can spot a frog in a second. <laughs> yes. Can't believe how many mosquitoes are out here. Uh, there's 
crazy. What'd you say exist? Campfires? Oh, they said campfires exist, but that don't make any sense. All right, we just we just found our first snake. Uh, oh, it is. It's a Burmese python. It's a python. We just found a Burmese it's python. A of it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and it's a baby. And then I say earlier, what if I found a Burmese python, a baby Burmese python? Would you look at that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think I should leave this thing here. I think I'm going to catch it. <laughs> I just caught <laughs> a baby Burmese python in Florida. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that guy. And he is so pretty. Look at him. Man, yeah. mosquitoes are tearing me up. Look at the mosquitoes on my leg. Oh my God. I have no I have no bug spray. Sonia, wait over here. Let's get in the van. Uh -huh. Can I cover the light so bugs don't come in? Happy holidays. It's a baby. Alright, so we just jumped back in the van because the mosquitoes were just tearing us all apart. I, mean, <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe we just found a Burmese python. I uh, never expected it. I never expected a baby. Well, now, finding this baby is um, a really bad sign. This baby wasn't released here recently because we're in the middle of nowhere. And uh, that means this baby was was bred and born here in the wild of Florida. So that means there's more baby Burmese pythons in this area. Burmese pythons can have a lot, a lot of eggs, you know, 30, 40 eggs at a time. So this is just one of a huge clutch of eggs. This is a baby. This is a baby Burmese python. And if you don't know about Burmese pythons, this is the the third largest species of snake in the world. The, the longest is the reticulated python, and the heaviest is the anaconda, which brings us to the third, which is the Burmese python. So these snakes um, can get really, really big. If this is a female, this snake can easily get over 20 feet long. Uh, the males don't get quite as big, but, but a male, you're still talking 10, 12 foot snake, maybe a little more. Um, so, so very, very big snakes. Now, this snake is really docile and gentle, and, and Burmese pythons as a species are usually very gentle snakes. Now, if you have a wild 10-foot Burmese python in, 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 you know, out in the wild somewhere, and you catch it, it's probably not going to be very friendly. Um, but in, in captivity or when you raise them from babies like this one, uh, they're generally very docile snakes. Um, not compared to anacondas and retic reticulated pythons usually. Now, um, what the story is that I've heard back in uh, the early 90s, I guess, there was a hurricane that hit South Florida and a lot of uh, breeding facilities and um, import facil facilities bringing in Burmese pythons were hit and uh, some of those snakes, a lot of those snakes escaped. And with so many years going by and, and this habitat being what it is, Burmese pythons have flourished here. So, you know, when I tell someone now that people ask, have you ever gone to you know Florida and caught the Burmese pythons there? Well, now I can say yes. And they're going to say, well, how big was the one you caught? Man, that <laughs> thing was this big, okay? Uh, but, but in all honesty, personally, I think this is a bigger find than a bigger Burmese python for a couple reasons. One reason, a bigger snake is easier to find than a little snake. But this really tells me something. This tells me 
this snake was not just recently released by somebody. So Burmese pythons are, are, are breeding here. So males and females are meeting up. They're, they're successfully breeding and they're laying eggs and the eggs are successfully hatching. Now, you see how big the snake is. You're thinking, well, you know, what is it, a year old? Two years old? I don't think so. <laughs> if I had to guess, this is a hatchling. I mean, I don't think this snake is more than a month old. It may not even be a month old. This is a baby Burmese python. So what that tells me is there's a bunch of other baby Burmese pythons right here in this area. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, to mark this area and figure out uh, the GPS coordinates and turn that in to, to the officials with Florida. So they have this on their radar as to this particular spot. There's a bunch of bur baby Burmese pythons here potentially. And they can start really watching this area. But um, so, uh, man, I did not for a second think I was going to find a baby Burmese python. And look at how calm he, this is what's uh, amazing to me. It is is how docile the snake is, mm -hmm. you know, because you, you see, you know, python hunters on TV grabbing the snake behind the head and restraining them. And if it's a, a big Burmese python, I would probably do the exact same thing because these snakes as adults have really big teeth. They're not venomous, of course, but they have really big teeth. So what do we do? Keep what do we do with this thing? We got to do what the law says to do. Yeah. So we can't keep this Burmese, but this thing is so cute and he's so friendly. And that's only because it's a young Burmese python. You know, this thing, as it gets older out here in the wild, I go to pick this thing up and it's not going to be uh, this friendly. So the law does not allow us to keep this and bring it back home uh, and even adopt it out and find it at home. And a lot of people are like, well, wouldn't that be the thing to do to find this thing at home because it's so cute <laughs> and uh, it's so friendly and most Burmese pythons you catch are not going to be that way. But um, unfortunately, that is not what the law allows. Look at the pattern on the snake. Isn't that just gorgeous? Isn't that just beautiful? Man, that's a pretty snake. And he's so friendly. When I first pulled up on the snake, I actually thought it was a young eastern diamondback rattlesnake from a distance with the pattern because your your mind is not thinking you know python but uh he sure enough was uh, i can't believe i just caught a burmese a baby burmese python and i just told sarah i said you know yeah i kind of hope if we find a burmese it's not a baby because i would be so tempted to want to keep that snake but uh the law does go into uh, how to humanely dispatch these and you know you guys know me I love snakes I do not want to see people just killing snakes I think that's a horrible horrible thing um, you know we've got cats but I also hate invasive cats you know feral cats are an invasive species and they actually cause a lot more damage uh, to wildlife in America than Burmese pythons in my opinion but um I don't like seeing people kill cats, but I also don't think they need to be running loose around neighborhoods. Uh, that's a really bad thing. But it's also a bad thing for this guy to be here in the Everglades. And this is a very, very young snake. Very, very beautiful snake. And the more I sit here and hold him, the more I look at him, the more I get attached to him. And I, I can't become attached to the snake because unfortunately, oh man. It, that's hard and it's hard to want to yeah. hard to want to <laughs> catch a, a pretty it, snake even if it was an adult it would be hard putting the snake down goes against everything i feel everything i think um I, I think it's so cool to come out here and find snakes of any kind and for me to come out here and find a, a type of snake that i love i love burmese pythons i own several burmese pythons for me to come out here and to catch one of these snakes in the wild that was born and bred in the wild for me is just so freaking cool but all that's kind of shattered when i know what has to become of the snake i i can't just take the snake home and keep him as a pet and i really really want to 
as cute as this little thing. And the longer I hold the heart here, you hold it for a while. <laughs> okay, you hold <laughs> The longer I hold it, I'm getting attached to the snake. So, um, I've always wanted to come here and catch a Burmese python, but now that I've caught one, I, I kind of wish I hadn't caught it. I kind of wish I had never seen it. Not that I want it to crawl off into the wilds of Florida. I don't want that. That's not a good thing. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the problem with these snakes is, is they devastate the, the, the uh, native animals that live here and they outcompete the native animals. And so this snake cannot stay here in Florida. It's not a good thing. It has to go. But uh, the law does not allow me to take this snake back to our facility and keep it or adopt it out. The law says we can't do that. So I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, we're going to do what has to be done. And it is not pleasant. And I, don't, I don't even want to share this with you guys. But um, I think it's an important thing for you to see this. Because I have the best job in the world, but there are certain aspects of my job that that are not uh, that are not so fun. This is one of them. It, it, it's really hard to not want to just kind of put him in something and just take him home and just keep him on the down low. Nobody would ever know. I would never have to post this video, but. Um, that's not what we're supposed to do. So, uh, you know, I've got permits here in Florida. I, I'm licensed by the FWC in Florida to, uh, you know, for venomous snakes and alligators to do educational programs here in Florida. So, you know, us possessing this Burmese python illegally or transporting it back home to Georgia illegally, that could put our permits in jeopardy. Um, and then the other thing is too, if I were to have just pulled up here and saw that Burmese python crossing the road and said, well, I don't have the heart to kill it. Well, do I have the heart to let it crawl off into the, into the wilds of Florida and grow up and reproduce and make more invasive species? Do I have the heart to do that? So whichever way you look at it, this is a really tough situation because I, I, I don't want to kill this beautiful little snake. <sighs> But I don't want to, I don't think it's right to leave it and just turn my head and pretend it's not there and let it crawl in the wild either. So this is a very, this, this is like the best worst snake capture I've ever had. It is so conflicting because I, I've always wanted to come down here and find a Burmese python, but I've never wanted to come down here and find a Burmese python at the same time because I know if you if you find one, how cool that would be but you also know what the outcome has to be. So uh, <clears throat> we're gonna turn the camera off for a little bit. I uh, I don't even know what to say. I, I don't even want to post this video. <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't come here to go to go snake hunting. That's not even what I was gonna do. We come here to we rented the Airbnb house and we. Um, had our own private pool here at this house and going to the beach every day. And uh, this one night tonight, I had free and I said, hey, let's just go riding around looking for snakes. And Audrey's with me because she enjoys finding frogs and toads, which she found some really some, some, some really cool ones and that big bullfrog. The mosquitoes are terrible out here. And so Sarah and, Sarah and Audrey are in the van. I don't have any bug spray with me. They didn't want to be out here with me with the mosquitoes. But uh, as far as the snake goes, uh, it's not a very good night. Um, the law sometimes requires us to do things that don't really want to do. But uh, I did what uh, you know what I thought was best. So I'm gonna get back in the car. Mosquitoes are killing me, and uh, as much as I like seeing Burmese pythons out here, I hope we don't find another one. just passed a snake <laughs> there's a little snake on the white line uh, try not to run over it let's see oh there it is oh well uh, it's kind of cold up it might be a dead snake 
I think it is a dead snake. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Look at there. <laughs> Look at that. Let me get the light on. There we go. This is a dead Burmese python here in South Florida. Little, little baby Burmese python, little tiny snake. So we're going to move it, I guess, move it off the road because other animals will come here and try to eat it on the road and get hit by a car. So I'm at least going to do that. But man, uh, two Burmese pythons within an hour. I haven't seen any other snakes out here. I've seen frogs and toads, but the only snakes I've seen tonight are invasive Burmese pythons. <sighs> mm. That's uh, <laughs> Audrey and Sarah. <laughs> I've worn them out. They're in the van sound asleep. Uh, I like to keep driving, just seeing what I'm going to find out here at night. Can't believe that. Burmese python, that's crazy.